I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories. This is a great exercise if you ever want to play in a tournament because a lot of times they'll pick a category in advance and the first player to win a hand in that category will win a prize. Another reason why you might want to do this is just to push yourself to play categories you might not normally think about. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we're going to get 28 tiles, then 27, back to 28. And force these categories. We have east, west, south, almost news. We have a white dragon, red and green pairs. In cracks, we have one, two, three, six, eight, nine pair of eights. We have two nine in dots with a pair of twos, one, four, five, seven, nine in bams with a pung of fours and a pair of nines. We do have a couple of flowers as well. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first discards? I th if these were my tiles, I think I would play two, three, four mixed suit Kongs with the flowers and like numbers with dragons. That would use all the multiples. Well, no, the eights. We could use that as joker bait. Okay. Like numbers, consecutive run. Now, here we have nine discards. That's a lot. I try to make it so that I have eight discards or less. So we have one too many. So I would think about a plan B. One thing I was thinking we could do is eight, nine dragons. Eight, nine dragon. But then we look at all the multiples here for another, another potential hand we wouldn't really be able to do much with two, four, pair, pung. We have the three. I would use this somehow, and we have no other four. So I think that's what I would do, even though we have a lot of discards. So here we have two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three. We do have one, two, three here. Consecutive run. One, two, three. Two, four. Two, three, four. Hmm. Joker bait. If you want to know more about Joker bait, look in the video description below for links. Maybe what we could do. is hold the wins for a year hand. <laughs> okay. So here's like numbers with nines, joker bait, two, three, four, 
or maybe a year hand instead, like east and west with the year. We have twos, so probably these would go, even though we have no one dot, we could do like that, east and west with twos, as a plan B. I think what I would do is keep the one, two, start by discarding these three and just see what happens. Focus on two, three, four consecutive run in like numbers. This one was challenging. So we have consecutive run in like numbers. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Wow, look at that. We need fours and we'd have every number in that suit. So here we have a joker, a flower, a north. We have all the dragons, pairs of green and white. We have one, two, seven in bams, three, four in cracks with a pair of fours. In dots, we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess we're missing a four and a six. But we have a pung of threes, pair of five, pair seven, we have a pair of eights and a pair of nines. If these were your tiles, which of these would you focus on and what would be your first discards? This is gonna be a challenge. We really, could try for winds and dragons, but we have only one north. And for winds and dragons, we need way more winds with all these dragons. I was thinking maybe the concealed hand, but that'd be risky with only one wind. So then I thought, how else could we use the dragons? Maybe we could use the dragons in Three six nine, three six nine dragon, and then maybe we could use the other dragons in two four six eight. Okay, this looks crazy, but here we could do two four six eight offsuit dragons. We need a four six dot, and then build up the dragons, and of course we'd need another flower. That's the second hand from the bottom under 2468. Then here we can play 369. We can use any number of jokers. We have a gap, no six dot. Use these as joker bait, discard those. So maybe keep the three for 369. If I'm playing a category, I try to keep everything for that category. So maybe even keep these for a little while for two, four, six, eight, and that. Well, for all that it's worth the eight. So two, four, six, eight up here with or without dragons, and then three, six, nine joker bait discards. So we have lots of options. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section below for pull two. 
we have 2468 and 369. Oops. So that's what we have here. That will leverage the pung and pairs, but of course, with what we have on the board, 5-7, not helpful. Especially because we don't have the wins. We do have twos and ones, but we wouldn't be able to use, we'd have to ditch two more multiples to play a year hand. So that's why I wouldn't play a year hand even though we have a pair of white dragons. This was a tough one. Okay, we need to force Winds and Dragons in a year hand. Oh my goodness, look at we have a pair of sevens and a pung of fours. Maybe we could try for East and West with fours. <laughs> we would need some help in there. East and West with fours. And then here's our year hand. So this would be joker bait. I would keep the south to see what comes in. Joker bait, discards. Uh-oh. 10 discards, joker bait. East and west with fours and a year hand. That looks really bleak, but this is what happens when you force a hand. We have to have a year hand in here. East and west with fours would leverage these multiples. I suppose we could try for north and south with sevens and just discard these. Let's keep that. Maybe we could do north and south with sevens and then discard these for joker bait and let these go. So we would have an option here. Probably going to need that down here, our poor year hand. So here's east and west with fours or north and south with sevens. And then these would all be discards and just gather. Winds and dragons, year hand. Looking a little bleak. That's part of the fun though. If you want to practice Siamese Force at home, there's a link in the video description below to a PDF with the categories you could print and cut at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.